We got Cashman here. We're gonna go ahead and cut him loose and we'll see what he does. I um, brought him out last night. He didn't turn up a tree. Hopefully he'll turn us up a tree tonight. Thanks for tuning in. And we'll get some try to get some good uh audio of him running track. Um but we're gonna go ahead and cut him loose. Alright, so Cashman peeled off about 40. He cut in this little patch of woods off the path. He's over there working right now. Um we'll see. What he turns up um he ain't struck nothing yet but hopefully we'll get a good strike out of him soon fell treed here on this real thick brush here he was up here in this mess a tree on this little bitty tree right here but we're gonna shine around and see if we can't get some eyes and get him directed around over here he nailed this tree pretty good here um a lot of leaves on it he ain't really settled on it. He's working this area real good. We got a few trees, but a lot of brush. So I'm going to let him work and see if he'll settle in on a tree before we start squalling and leashing him back and so, stuff. Uh, he ain't made it too far off from where he's at now. Calling him treat on the GPS right now. Um, but we're going to go take a look. And just restruck it up. He left up out of the one tree. They're calling him treat on GPS right now. So we're going to see what, it, what it's got going on down here. I'll let you hear him run for a little bit. Keeps calling him tree dumb. We'll go ahead and walk in. I called him tree there again. All right, we're gonna go in here and take a look at him. Cash has worked a track back on itself twice now, but it's about a 600 yard track. He's not working it very fast. He's going same little cluster of trees to same little cluster of trees. Hopefully he'll figure it out and get us one treat. I've been waiting on him for about two hours now. What's up, everybody? Yeah, we just got back to the house. Um, Cashman, he got stuck up on a track pretty good, um, running it about 300 yards from one tree to another tree. Uh, he, he was striking it up here or there. He kept pushing. He wasn't going to give it up, so I just let him work. We're just getting home. It's about 4.30 in the morning. So I, I, I eventually just said my 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 light died and my phone was dying. So I was like, I can't let him just sit there and work it out. So I had to pull him out of there and, and get back to the house. Um, he did fall slick treed pretty hard. Um, and I think that's where this coon just really threw him for a loop and wasn't really letting him um letting him figure anything out. Uh, it was real thick brush walls, like super thick brush walls. He actually fell slick treed in, in like some real thickets a couple times. Um, I, I don't know what in the world that coon was doing, but it was slicking him up bad. Um, I don't think that he was running trash at all. Um, just because of the fact that he was running a track that was about 300 yards, uh, a little bit more than that, um, to one tree to another tree. And he, he kept doubling back on it and restriking it up and doubling back on it and restriking it up and doubling back on it and restriking it up. And I just kept letting him work, hoping that he'd figure it out. Right there at the end, right before my light died, he did bust it off a different direction and pushed it over in a, a little small patch of woods again. Um, he actually worked that direction in there. So um, at, at some point in time, it's going to click for old cash man on these little harder coons. And he'll get them. Um, he's treated two coons on his own so far. Watch out, buddy. He, he's treated two coons on, on his own so far. And uh, so I know he's good to go. I'm just going to let him work. Um, the two coons that he did treat, I'm pretty sure they were layups. Because he basically just made it over to the tree and slammed the tree. And they are up there. So uh, I'm thinking that he probably caught them at the end of their night when they was running in. Um, and I do have to run quite a bit later than usual, like normal dark time hours, uh, as soon as it gets dark, cause I do work third shift. So I got to run after dark. So we're looking at a lot of layups. We're looking at a lot of tracks on the ground. So, I mean, at the end of the day, when he starts working these out, I'm going to keep shoving them in the woods, um, every chance I get, and I'm going to keep letting him work for as long as he'll work. Now I'm just going to, only thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to pay attention to how much track he's laying down and how fast he's laying it down um these 
the track in between these two trees he was only he was pushing it real slow right there at the end i mean he was he was putting along at like a mile an hour with his nose glued to the ground i, I could tell it was really burning him up that he couldn't figure it out but uh i got some footage of it i got some footage of him slick train up in the bushes and like i said i'm gonna keep this real honest i'm not worried about nothing i'm just out here trying to pleasure hunt and and put a dog together um it is a lot harder now that i get a little bit older to get in the woods and tramps around for however many hours at a time but man i tell you what i love that stuff so uh keep them treed boys and hope you like the video